In this short lecture, we're just going to go over how to get started with the Limit Login Attempts plugin. The first thing we're going to do is go to Settings and then go to Limit Login Attempts. It's at the bottom for me and I assume it will be for you as well. And click on that. And then we'll get into the Limit Login Attempts settings. Here we can go through what we would like to limit and this has to do with logging into your WordPress website. If someone is logging in and they're putting the wrong password repeatedly or someone is trying to hack into the back of your website that you don't want to, this can be very useful. Now what we want to do here is change any numbers that you would like. This is really up to you. It's on a personal preference for things that you want to try to change to prevent people from logging in. But without this plugin, there would be unlimited attempts for people to try and that just isn't a good idea. So what I'm going to do for me personally, I'm going to change this to, I'm going to allow five retries because sometimes I do forget my passwords because I have a lot of sites with different passwords and I don't really like writing them all down. And I'm going to lock out for, let's make it 30 minutes, I'll try. And four lockouts increase lockout time to 24 hours. I'm going to say three of them will do that because if you get locked out three times, it's pretty bad. And 12 hours until retry, 12 hours until retries are reset. I'm going to put that down actually to eight hours just for me. I'm going to leave this as it appears the site was reached directly. And then I'm going to leave by direct connection. And I'll leave handle cookie login as yes as well. And if you want to get emailed after a certain number of logouts, you could lockouts. I mean, you can change this number. I personally am just going to leave it as it is and click change options. That's basically like a submit button. And then at the top, you should get a message that says options change. That's about all you have to do for this plugin. I'll see you in the next lesson where we discuss the next plugin and how to set it up. Thanks for viewing, everyone.